As Georgia Tech gets ready to host Miami in an important Coastal Division game in the ACC on Saturday at 3 o'clock, we get a chance this week to visit with T.J. Barnes out of Enterprise, Alabama. It's hard to believe your career has just kind of gone like this. Like that, it? it's almost over, almost over. You know, it's been a long time coming, so, you know. Take me through you and football because despite the stereotypes, you didn't start playing until when? Ninth grade, ninth grade. I didn't, and I didn't really start getting until I graduated from my high school. So, you know, it was a long, long process, you know. So. What was what was T.J. Barnes doing until the ninth grade? I mean, just doing whatever they told me to. I was first I started at fullback, you know, then uh, left tackle had went down on varsity. So they bumped me up and I didn't know none of the plays. They just told me just go out there and hit somebody and that's all I was doing. <laughs> I remember I got a penalty for being a legal man downfield, you know, because it was a pass play. I, I passed block and just ran downfield and tried to catch the ball. I'm like, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's how everything started. But, you know, eventually I kept playing and playing. And, uh, I started to learn more about the game and stuff, and you know, eventually got a little bit better. Why so late to football? I wasn't interested. I was actually interested in playing golf. And then No, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Golf? Golf. How's that going? Are we still interested in golf? Yes, of course we're still interested in golf. Um, I remember uh, telling my dad, yeah, I'm going to go try out for the football team. I'm out trying out for the golf team and stuff. And he went out and to see if I was practicing. And I, I got home that day. He said, so, TJ, how was uh, football practice? I'm like, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. You know, where's your uh, jersey so I can wash it and stuff? Um, oh, they already took care of that. And then eventually he just told me, TJ, I saw you wasn't at practice. Go ahead and go out there and, you know. Show what you can do, and eventually, you know, now I'm here. So football <laughs> was really kind of just one of those things that was an avocation as much as it was a vocation. Right, right. So. Now, how is it now? How's it changed for you? Because really, if you count 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, you, you've been playing less than nine years technically. Right. What is it now to you? I mean, I love the game now. It's like I love my brothers on the D-line. I love, like, going there and just, like, and just, <laughs> just playing. It's just like you get, like, a good feeling going down on Saturday nights and stuff and just show, showcasing your talents to the world, you know, so. Tell me about the start of this season, because I know you were disappointed at Virginia Tech you, because you had worked hard in the offseason to be ready for that game. You kind of encompass, I think, what the team had done. Right. To not win that game, what kind of challenges did you guys have to face? I mean, we just had to basically bounce back because we couldn't really – like do the whole 24-hour rule and just like sulk in the loss and because we had Presbyterian that Saturday. So, you know, just had to shake it off really. And we were, I would say I would rather lose now than take it and look at it and, you know, learn from that lesson than losing the championship and stuff. So that's how I see it. When you guys beat Presbyterian that week leading up to the game, I'd heard a lot about it was more about us than about them or, you know, certainly respect the opponent kind of thing. Right. But that was important for you guys to get back on the field and have some success, wasn't it? It was, and like, you just wanna, uh, first you would never wanna overlook a team, because I remember 2008, we almost lost to Gardner Webb, so you never wanna overlook a team in any type of way, but um, you just wanna, all right, show the world, all right, cool, all right, we, were, we lost on Monday night, but we're not gonna let that loss affect us, and we're just gonna come out and keep playing Georgia Tech football. All right, to get ready for this year, you, number one, made a commitment to yourself to get in better shape. Right. To play longer. You had a great game last year against Clemson. You had a couple of other good games. But what was the mind process like in getting ready for this year? What, what made this year different? Um, first, I went through like a little experience in Valentine's Day because my mom, she had a stroke. Mm -hmm. And that really just made me do a whole 180, really, about my whole attitude about the game and stuff because uh, I want to, like, make everything happen and graduate and, you know, maybe go to the NFL or do something, sure. you know, so that she can see and be proud of me and things like that. So I made a commitment to be in shape and do everything that I needed to do so I can be the best player this season. So every time my teammates would call me, text me, this summer, TJ, what you doing? Let's go hang out. I'm working out, I'm doing extra, doing this and doing that. All right, cool, you know. And they won't really see me until Friday night because mm. I'm, all, I'm always busy throughout the weekend and weekend, so, you know. All right. I heard yoga was involved in this. <laughs> yeah, yoga. I'm trying to draw the mental image of you and yoga. Um, 
Yeah, yoga, it was involved. It was actually interesting because Coach Tiano, he was involved in it, in it my first two years, and I was like, right. you know, I did it for like a couple of days. I'm like, ah, I don't need it and stuff. And then <laughs> I would hear like uh, older players come back from the NFL and do things like that. They were like, TJ, yeah, get involved in yoga. It's going to help you. Um, um, be a better player, you know, um, be more flexible and stuff. So I took it upon myself to just get really serious about it, and and it was a it was an experience going outside in the 90 degree heat and trying to stretch and do these different type of positions and stuff and hold it for like a minute mm -hmm. or not. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was interesting. How has it translated through the first three games? I mean, it's taught me how to breathe, really, how to. Um, not, it's just taught me how to breathe and just like how to last really, you know, how to, you know, use my energy and uh, bend which, which in type of ways and stuff. So, you know, like I see like the office of mine, they'll be able to, <sighs> <sighs> and I'm like, I'm not even tired, you know, regardless of what like, it might seem like, you know, I have my hands on my hips or something like that, but I'm not even tired. So, you know. You're genuinely excited about the game and about this team now, aren't you? Yeah, so I'm and I'm not sure we could have said that a couple of years ago. Uh, I'm, I'm like, we're all, especially on the defense, we're just all like one being really. You know, we all hung out this summer. You know, uh, I know as a defensive line because me, Aizan, and uh, Manuel, we were roommates and stuff, so we always went somewhere together. That's a big room. <laughs> and we had Euclid tag along also, so we were always together, so, you know. And we just really bonded and then coming to camp, we were just all clicking, you know, uh -huh. so everybody knew what to do, so. This is good to catch up with you. Uh, what do we need to know about Enterprise Alabama? <laughs> uh, Your hometown is how big? Woo, maybe 5,000. Maybe. maybe. On a good day? On a good day, on a good day. Maybe when the Peanut Festival comes around, 5,000. The Peanut Festival? <laughs> yeah. When's that? November. November? Yeah. Huh. Does that mean you're going to bring peanuts for everybody? Yeah, bro, peanuts for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> TJ Barnes with us. Georgia Tech Miami is 3 o'clock. This is RamblinRec.com.